Hey folks, wanted to take a look at the collapse transformation switch, which you'll find here in the layers menu. Okay, so here's a nice little animation. Okay, so what I've done is if we go inside this pre comp, I've just done an animation with some 3D layers. Okay, so we've just got some shape layers with dashes added that are just rotating. If I hit the uh, double E key, okay, I put the time expression on them. We've looked at this in other tutorials and they're just spinning around and I'll just hit half of these okay there they are and I've just done you know I've just rotated these so uh, okay um, I've just done the orientation of these okay so they just at different angles okay and they've all got a time expression on the Z rotation so you just angle them with the orientation Okay, get them which way around you want them, whatever you want to do, and then just rotate one of the properties to make them spin. Okay, so we've got this, and if I look at this in the uh, active camera, there it is, and in the custom view, I can use the little camera icon here to look at that from different angles. So you can see what I'm doing there. I'm just taking the same layer, making that layer 3D, and just orienting them in different angles there okay so let's say I'll do a new composition okay and I'm going to drag that in okay that's all groovy but okay if I hit rotation on this I'm going to make it a 3d layer and if I rotate this around okay you can still see it's still 2d oh Okay, it's all flat. So I can't do uh, this kind of thing where they're all at angles. Okay. So what I need to do is just hit this button. Oh, they've all popped out again. Okay, and now I can rotate this around and you can see it's fully three dimensional. Okay, so it's taking the 3D properties there of the layers inside okay so that's really useful when you're working with pre comps and you're working in 3d so just a quick little tutorial but just a very useful thing in after effects so thanks for watching